Hello, DeSoto. Yeah, there's a policeman here, or one of our local cops, driving around. And you were probably wondering, what in the heck am I shooting today? Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> and that is my point. Absolutely nothing. We have triple digit temperatures. Yesterday was a triple digit temperature day. Today will be a triple digit temperature day. And there's nothing that uh, any solar radiation management is going to do. Uh, we got a runaway effect with the temperatures because the ground here is just so dry. The plant life is just so dried out. Okay, they're turning Iowa into a desert. Okay, everything's just so dried out. Uh, the only reason why my, my flowers are, are sprouting there is because I water them. And, uh, but it's a runaway, like a heat island effect across the, the Midwest. There's not much they can do to lower the temperatures. So, geoengineer guys are amazingly absent. Not a cloud in the sky. No solar radiation management. No haze. No humidity. And uh, they are expecting triple digit temperatures for the next week and a half. Even heating up beyond 100 into the lower 100s. This is this unprecedented heat wave, solar wave for... Uh, the state of Iowa and for the Midwest in general. Um, I hope my trees can take it. These are young trees. It's an old tree. I think oh, I have water underneath my ground here though. Some source of water. Not quite sure, like a spring of some sort because that pond behind us is spring fed. So, you know, might have some water underneath us yet to keep these trees alive. But let me tell you what, man, triple digit temperatures and uh, for the next week and a half, I, you know, I've lived in Iowa for a lot of my life, and and we get hundreds, sure, but hundreds for, uh, you know, we could be looking at ten days worth of one hundreds, and then, you know, and I, if you go back in my videos about three or four days ago, I had predicted this about the runaway effect uh, that there's going to be nothing or little that the uh, SRM guys are going to be able to do about this heat, and. Uh, here it is, they're gone. So the absence of them proves their presence, don't you think? What, there's no air traffic today at all? Leaving their so-called contrails or mists in the sky? No, I like to even film when there's nothing to show that when there's something that they're up there doing something, okay? But uh, just a quick vid to show you about the runaway solar wave that we have. Like I said, the ground is just too dry, and the plants are all too dry. And when it warms up that ground, it's like warming up cement. You need an overnight temperature to cool that off again, but it's not cooling off overnight. Not enough to allow the ground to cool off, so when the sun rises again, it's going to heat up even more, and then even more, and then even more. Okay? So like I said, I predict for the Labor Day weekend, man, we're going to see 105 degree temperatures actual temperatures okay and heat indices probably in the 110s and 15s okay it'd be one day if one day spiked up that high that'd be okay but these this is this is ongoing like I have been saying okay from solar radiation from this guy up here all right I know the BZ counts are down the x-ray counts are down and all what all the satellites and all the charts are showing but look at the magnetometers man they're they're like flat that means all that stuff, any stuff that we're getting, comes right in, okay? So, uh, I mean, the, 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 the magnetosphere is just like doing nothing to say, no, nope, come on in, guys, have some fun with us down here. <laughs> but like I said, no, no geoengineer guys proves their presence even. Their absence proves their, their presence. So, uh, I hope this uh, video finds you keeping cool. Um, I used to have window airs in, in, in this house here of mine, and uh, I got rid of them all and to save on energy. And uh, I think I did it at the right time. I got this brand new uh, central air unit right there installed this year, and I think I took, picked the right year to do it, because last year was a scorcher, but this year uh, it's even worse. And I wanted to show you too. This is what it'll do. You talk about trees dying, okay? This is what the sun will do to your trees. This is what it did to it last year. This is not this year's damage. This is last year's damage. I'm waiting to see what next, you know, what is this tree is going to look like next year. These two trees might be coming down.
you know, and that's that's too bad, you know. I really love these two trees. They provide a, a lot of cover and shade and etc. And I might have to take these down and I'll have no cover or shade for these two houses here. I've got these trees starting to grow. And uh, and hopefully I can keep these guys alive. I wanted to actually show you a fix also that I did on this tree here. You might have noticed it as I scanned through, but we had a storm earlier this year come through and it split this tree practically in half. Okay, and uh, this is kind of holding it steady, but what I did is I drilled all the way through the tree here, all the way through to the other side. I had to drill a, a hole through here and then run these bolts all the way through and then with washers and stuff. And I did it twice right down here to reinforce it here on the uh, other side though, but there's a, it had split all the way down and uh, and go, actually went all the way down to here to this knot here. Uh, but I'm hoping this works so far. The tree is uh, still alive and well and uh, Hopefully over time it'll it'll heal in a way and that reinforcement will just you know keep everything in place as it grows And might even grow around it uh, But uh, you know, hopefully uh, that'll do the trick there and uh, but That's what a uh, weather will do also, this uh, uh, bird uh, nest here was never used. It was built but never used because of the uh, manipulation of the weather when birds are used to moving in and this tree sprouted plumes, or blooms, I'm sorry, and, uh, and then had the whole tree humming with bees and so the birds are afraid to go back to the nest they just built. All the timing was off, so anyway. Uh, again, no SRM today here, except maybe none is some. Maybe it's one of the ways they have to deal with it. I know they had some weather out east, but uh, I know they're not doing anything here. And I bet you they ain't going to be doing anything for the next couple of days. There's really not much that they can do, just be a waste of a bunch of money. You know? So, and the crops are going to need to dry out and be harvested. But that usually comes through September and October, October mainly. And but we're having uh, this is not even July weather. This is just unreal weather, is what it is, guys. Unreal heat. I'm not even bringing my baby out here. No, nope. she's just heat up right in about ten minutes, and I'll have to cool her right off. So anyway, maybe you have a boat or something. You guys can go out and enjoy the the sun out on the water. <laughs> There you go. That's my solar wave report.